Welcome back. How effective is your parenting style? With me in the studio to discuss effective parenting is Oluwa Toyi Ogunkomi, an advocate for positive parenting. She guides parents with practical tools to understand and connect with their children and adolescents to raise them into well-balanced adults. Oluwa Toyi is a psychologist and a certified family life practitioner. She's the founder of Parenting Support System Lim Limited, an organization that helps parents to create a serene family life. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. Good to have you join us today. At least now I'm seeing you live. I know I always watch you <laughs> online. <laughs> so it's good to see you in person. Uh, it's a pleasure being here. Welcome. Thank you for inviting me over. You're welcome. Okay, just start right away. Now, how can I tell if my parenting is effective? Oh. I mean, is there some sort of scorecard like, I have to check? <laughs> Okay, so when you talk about parenting, you know, parenting really is you raising your children to become well balanced. And that's one of the things we do in our organization. Okay. So for you to know if you've raised your children to be well balanced, it has to do with your interaction with them. Okay. Raising children is not just you giving birth to them, but it has to do with you teaching, guiding, and helping them to become who God has created them to be. So for you to know if you're a good parent or an effective parent, mm -hmm. I would say it takes 18 years. Oh my goodness. 18 or 13? 18. 18, when oh the child is goodness. living home. Yes, that's the summary, of, that's like the summary of everything. That's where you know if the child is happy, mm. the child is productive, the child is um, functional in the society. Awesome, awesome. Wow, <laughs> that's something to think about, right? Now, if I want to be an effective parent, what, what are the steps? I know okay. you highlighted guiding and all yeah. of that. So are there practical Okay, steps? so for you to be an effective parent, I'll start by saying there are certain things, certain basic things you need to know or basic things you need to do. And I've alight, I'll highlight just three. The okay. first is you have to be knowledgeable about your role. Okay. No one was born with innate parenting skills or parenting um, abilities. True. It's something that we all have to learn. So for you to be effective, you need to learn, you need to be knowledgeable about what parenting is, what is your role in the life of your child. Okay. You need to be very knowledgeable about that. That's the first step. The second step is you need to acquire skills. There yeah. are certain things you need to be able to do. You need to be emotionally intelligent need to be able to communicate effectively with your children, mm -hmm. you need to be able to have very good time management. Mm -hmm. There are quite a lot of skills you need to learn when it comes to becoming an effective parent. Then the third um, basic or the third um, thing you need to know mm -hmm. or you need to put in place is to have proper tools. What are the tools that you would need to make you effective? Mm. It's just like you be, being an effective leader. Yeah. There are certain things you need to have, certain tools you need to put in place for you to be an effective leader. And one of the things about parenting is that parenting is a leadership role. Mm. Your ability to influence your child. Right. So there are tools you need in the home, there are tools you need as a parent to be effective. So I'll just give one or two, one or, one or two tools. Okay. So one of the tools is that your ability to have structure in the home, mm. your ability to have your proper support system, who are the people around you that will make your job effective. Great. It's very important. Awesome, awesome. I was actually going to say, okay, so what are the tools? Because we need to, <laughs> <laughs> we need to hear that. I just mentioned yeah, tools. Yeah, so in a world that is, I mean, constantly dragging out the attention of our kids, I mean, we are doing our work, they are trying to, draw them back you know how can we stay relevant and influential like you said in the lives of our kids okay so for you to be relevant in the life of your child in this 21st century you have to learn you have to be able to step into the world of a child yeah true. so what are the things you can do to step into the world of your child you have to be physically present you have to be emotionally present your ability to know, to be interested in what your child is interested in Great. is very important. For, especially in this 21st century, you have children interested in different things. Yeah. And for you to be relevant in that house, you should be interested. If you have boys that love playing games, at least, if you don't even know anything, know how to hold the game pad. Yeah, at least, that's something. <laughs> at least, you know, just know, just be interested in their interest. Mm. You will always be relevant. And when you're correcting them, how do you correct them? Is your correction based on your fear? Because most of the time we tend to correct our children based on fear. Ah, this thing happened to 
this person's child. Hmm. I don't want it to happen to my child. Or this thing happened while I was growing up. I don't want, you know, so we tend to correct hmm, them out of fear. Own, yeah. And when we correct them out of fear, we do, we end up even destroying that relationship we have with them. Yeah. The another thing we can do is to always be in their space, not in their space, but let, let's be around them. Let them know that we are there. Yeah. They have a question, you're there to answer the question. They are afraid of something, you're there to make them, to pacify them. You should be present in their life. Yeah. That's one that's, of the reasons you, that's one of the things that can make you relevant in your child's life. That's very key, being present, being, present. Getting, being interested, because sometimes, my son is talking about games. No, no, no. Like, yeah, okay, wait, first, <laughs> just wait, wait. You know, we need to really be involved. That's the only way they can now open up to us and, you know, connect more. Now, God has a system for everything, including parenting. Yes. So does. how do we ensure, I mean, the intersection between God's own methods and our own techniques? How do we... Okay, so I'll talk from my point of view and from my organization point of view. Okay. So a parenting support system, one of the things we do is we prepare new parents okay. into the role of parent of being a parent, okay. into their new identity. Another thing we do at parenting support system is that we provide parents with tools and resources to be an effective parent. Great. And one of the things we use is we use biblical principles. Great. And we also use psychology. I'm a psychologist, so I, use, I have to use oh, science. Because okay. there's a certain lot of tools we can get from psychology, from science, that would help a parent to become a better and effective parent. So we marry both. Yeah. We use spiritual principles and we use psychological tools too. Oh, okay, great. Now, what in your experience again what are some of the most prevalent limitations that stop us from parenting effectively and how can we handle them okay so like when i started when i started talking about parenting effectively i said that there are certain things three basic things every parent should know mm -hmm. or should be able to do yeah. when it comes to research so, so one of the the first limitation has to do with your knowledge your knowledge base you're not skilled enough yeah. to be a parent. That's the first limitation. Mm -hmm. So if, there's, if, you're, if you're a parent out there and you're finding it difficult raising your children, you're finding it difficult to be an effective parent, go back into your go back to the drawing mm -hmm. table. Do you have enough knowledge? Do you have enough knowledge about yourself? Do you have enough knowledge about the child? Mm -hmm. Do you have the right tools and skills to be an effective parent. So that's the first limitation. And the second limitation is not being consistent. You know, as parents, we say one thing and we do another thing. Mm. And the child is confused as in, okay, so which one of them should I? <laughs> as in, should I do this or should I do that? So when we're not consistent in our approach, we're not consistent in the way what we say, we're not consistent in our behavior, it sends a signal to the child mm. and it makes us look ineffective. True. Another thing that, that another limitation has to do with not having enough resources around us, not having the right support system. I tell parents, see, there's no superwoman. Mm -mm. There's no Miss Perfect or Mr. Perfect. Mm -mm. So don't assume the role of God, you know? <laughs> so instead of assuming the role of God, get the right support system, trusted support system. And when I talk about support system, it could be in the form of either your spouse, your family members. If you can afford, then hire someone to be a support mm. system to help the job easy, to make the job easier. Mm -hmm. Then the final um, limitation I'll talk about is about um, you not being able to manage your role as a parent and other rules you have, either as a career person, you're worker in church, you, um, you have other societal or social engagement you're involved in. Yeah. Your ability to manage this, your ability not to manage this with, uh, role could make you ineffective as a parent. Oh, great. You really outlined a lot that we need to really uh, consider. One thing that stood out for me, support system, because sometimes it can be crazy, and we need that support we system. Support Thank support you system. very much for coming. I Thank wish we could go so on much. and on. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I'm sure so you'll come much. back again. Oh, yes, I will. All <laughs> right. Parenting 101, no less. But if you have some advanced questions on parenting or you'd like to purchase any of our guest books, simply contact her using the details shown on your screen. There's more on living the life after the break, so stick around.